it's not a done deal yet. Today, members of the Kern County Sheriff's Command Staff Association voted to accept a pay raise offered by county leaders who say it will make top brass and rank and file deputies the highest paid law enforcement in Kern County. And while the command staff union has signed on, a vote by hundreds of sheriff's deputies hangs in the balance. 17's Aton Wallace in studio tonight to explain. Aton. Well, that's because the deal was made with a union that represents 36 KCSO personnel, specifically lieutenants and above. The other union that represents more than 400 deputies is still negotiating. A proposal county leaders said would make the Kern County Sheriff's Office the highest paid law enforcement agency in Kern County has been approved by members of the Kern County Sheriff's Command Staff Association, a union that represents 36 high-ranked members within the Kern County Sheriff's Office, including chief deputies, commanders, lieutenants, and DA lieutenants. Commander Adam Pluggy is the treasurer with the union. I believe it is a fair uh, contract. Uh, each one of our members will get a, a raise of some sort. Um, it won't be uh, a substantial raise, um, but I do believe that it is a fair contract. A contract that county officials say will result in a 3 to 10 percent raise for the members. Previous benefits, including the current Flex 10 percent addition and Fitness Pay 4 percent addition, will now roll over to the base salary, a salary that, for the entry-level lieutenant, will jump from roughly 100 k to $106,656, coming out to a 5.7 percent increase. That figure is roughly $1,000 more than what the same level BPD lieutenant makes. Tonight, the Kern Law Enforcement Association Union that represents hundreds of KCSO sergeants and below continues to negotiate with county officials. Meantime, Pluggy says he and his members are now looking toward the future. I believe that this is a, a good step going forward um, and, and moving forward at this point because everything has been stagnant for so many years uh, at this point. Um, so I think it is a, a step in the right direction. Members of the Board of Supervisors still need to approve the deal, and they will take it up on August 13th. In Studio 8, Tom Wallace, 17 News.